Hey guys, um, this is Tammy K. I want to introduce you guys um, to our new podcast called Girlfriend Talk. This is a show um, we'll be discussing different topics. Uh, we might make you laugh, we might make you cry, um, but we appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. Um, so I have three lovely ladies on the panel with me. I'm going to go ahead and let them introduce themselves. Juju. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Just ask. What up? Hey, girl. Hey. Tay Boo. Hey, what's hey, up, girl? <laughs> what's up, ladies? How y'all doing this evening? Good. 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 That's good. That's good. So, um, we're just gonna jump right into it. Our first topic of the uh, of our podcast is going to be men wearing weed. So you see the different styles they got going on. Uh, I know how I feel about it, but let's get y'all opinion. What what y'all think about it? Trying to see where they get that lines from. I need one. <laughs> <laughs> they, def they definitely giving out hairlines, beards, all type of stuff. Like yeah. that was nice. <laughs> I mean, I could, I could, I could deal with the 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 black, you know, the line and then everything, the the wigs. Uh, that'd be a no for me. That's definitely a no for me. Yeah, I'm not really interested. That's not my thing. I mean, I feel personally, I feel like I know it's probably hypocritical. All right, and but I feel like it's okay for women <laughs> to do that. I don't really know about men, and I don't know if it's just um. If it's just like something societal that's been passed down, you know, as women are the ones who typically do things like that and men just shouldn't, I'm not sure. Or if it's just a bigger part of me just not agreeing with that. Or it could be a combination of both. I'm not really sure, though. I don't. It's, it's just not my thing. Yeah, I'm definitely going to agree with just ask. Yeah. Tyga, Ty, what you think, girl? Girl, ain't we stereotyping on here? But anyway, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting my turn, baby. I'm waiting my turn, girl. I'm waiting. But anyway, um, you know what? I mean, the video from the video we just saw you. Sometimes you might not even know it until you get further in a relationship. Um, it's not noticeable. It's not like you know you. It's all out of the ordinary. They look like it's theirs. So. I mean, I can't say that I want, I prefer not to. If you get asked me from the jump, I prefer not to. But if we do go into it, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if we do get into a relationship, that's a friendly reminder. That's worse. <laughs> it just works. You know what I'm saying? Lay your hair up on the dress with mine, boo. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, and if you like to get catfished, I mean, I, that's on you. And, but and I don't want to be catfish. If they be honest and they, you know, you, it comes up like, you know, never know how they can bring, and you know, I don't know how you would bring it up like, hey, babe, my hair gonna be laying next to yours. I don't know. You know, don't put on my wig because I got, you know, you wearing yeah. yours or you wearing mine today. But I don't. <laughs> I don't I, I I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's okay because you know it might not be your preference. I get it. But just like women, 
like we get our hair done, we get that, we get that self confidence back. And I've seen men that get it that look older, and then they get it they look younger. You know, men might start losing their hair at an early age and stuff like that. So I'm like, now we saying, no, we can't be in a relationship with somebody, or you don't want to be in a relationship with somebody because they got a, the remember the plug-ins used to be back in the day and all that, the Rogaine and all of that stuff. So is it more of if they're not being honest? Or you just like, no, nah, we 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 ain't doing that because we both can't be wearing weave. Well, every time I see a picture, every time it flashes, it's just <laughs> a, another reminder of why to me it, it don't sit well. I mean, at first I'm like, okay, I hear what you're saying, Tammy K. But then when that picture popped up, I'm like, no, I no, <laughs> I, I, I I just it's just not. It's just not for me, but and I also feel like uh, to to uh, add to your uh, another point that you made. I also feel like um, that uh, I understand men they they want confidence too, and you know I can respect that. I mean, probably some of the same reasons why we get all dolled up or you mm -hmm. know put weave in. Totally get it. Um, I just feel like. Can we go a different way to help with that confidence? I mean, but what if they what if they bald head and then they shave their head and they get a big old peanut head? And now you're like, I can't date this peanut head man. I mean, now what I'm he gonna, gonna do? He's gonna shave his head off for you. I, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do peanut. I think for me, I think yeah. I'd rather do. Well, see, I'm gonna be honest. I probably won't do peanut. <laughs> <laughs> but it don't got nothing. I, I just feel like it don't got nothing to do with the fact that they got it covered. I don't want it. She's you like, no, no, I can't do peanuts. And you know, the thing is, is that let me go back to what you said. You say they start balding at the at a very early age. That's that's I don't want my kids to be bald that early. You know, that's a disability. Here we go. <laughs> that's something you can't no. control. It's a, you it's have a defect people. there. It's you a defect there. there. You have so what is your sickness? So what she's saying is if she dates somebody and they had kids, then her baby's gonna be bald here too. So she can't take it. She ain't taking no risk. No, I'm you not. Have control of it. Huh? I, but what if it I do get control, control of it. We won't be having no babies. <laughs> I'm gonna so say that you know your baby gonna be bald. How you know huh? that? How you know your baby gonna be bald? Because the man is is bald and early. <laughs> I can't take no chances. I ain't taking no chances. But it comes a lot of times it comes from the mom's side. So what if it's you that's the contributor to your child going bald early? Man. Absolutely. And you gonna try to slap some weave in that baby hair like mama bald head. I'm ba you yes, ain't finna be bald head. Let's go get girl, you some yeah. bread. My girl, my son's just gonna have to go bald. Okay? <laughs> he just gonna have to go bald. He gonna be fine anyway. But I just don't want to be uh five percent of that. <laughs> it's the causes of their baldness. <laughs> I mean, it's the hairline, yeah. Nah. The hairline. It's like you rather you rather get the hairline back there than when he just got it fixed up on the picture, just flashed there. Because you yeah, know, because oh, that no, 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 that's a no for me. That's a no. Oh, boy, no you can type it out of the the before and after I could work with, but the one on the side of that one, <laughs> right. <laughs> And, you know I mean, and then what about when they get in the beards and stuff like that? I feel like I wouldn't want to do that. But if you get in a little hair, like, don't be bald and then the next day you come with dreadlocks. No, dog. <laughs> We're not doing that. We're not doing that one. You know, why but. He, why he can't change his hairstyle? Right. Change ours. We we can't change ours. Right. Okay. I, I want, so I guess that's why I would draw the line. Like, don't. But you were just ball yesterday, so we can we're not you gonna was? take this today no, with the dreadlocks. Oh wow. No, yeah, I won't so tolerate that. I won't tolerate that. No. <laughs> now look, Tay, now we might have to have a we might have to have a talk like bang, this this not working out. Um right. I picked up one of your locks, you got one of my locks. I I cannot. Yeah. Right. I cannot. <laughs> That's right. Did you see my hair glue? Do you have my <laughs> hair glue? <laughs> we can't share stuff like that. You know, that's what's going to come a problem when we got to share stuff like that. 
<laughs> oh man, and don't let you put your uh your your, your short wig on that. It may be his toupee. Maybe it's toupee. That's just all I'm saying. I, I I really think the just the a low fade or something that resembles what you had going on, the natural look, I think that's okay. I think I will be okay with it. I'm like, babe, that's me and your secret. We're not gonna tell nobody. But when you get home, we taking showers together or whatnot. If it come out, it come out, babe. I still love you. You know what I'm saying? But, but then he turn you on before getting in the shower. Then he go ball in the shower. That's a turn off. <laughs> or, or or what if you running late, right? You running late for work, or you running late for anything? You got your wig out. It's his. So you rushing, and all, so that may come in handy. Then you rushing, then you just put on his. That could work. It could work. That could work. Wigs. Here's her wigs. The man. You. The man. What they call a men unit, they stay on your head. Okay. So they shouldn't be taking their units off. They last, what, a couple of months or something like that. But they are pricey, though. They really? are very wow. pricey. I'm like, oh. Okay, well, maybe you should come. I think it's uh, very talented, whoever, yeah. whoever can do that. I mean, mm -hmm. it, ain't, it ain't taken away from the talent. I think it looks right. Cool. It's just about for me that that ain't yours, bro. Yeah, and and I just feel away about that. I would rather you spray a little bit of that. Yeah, the black stuff, whatever you know. that's called. Yeah, I would rather you do that. I really, but not Me all too. over your whole head. Now nah. I'm just talking yeah. about you got a little something going missing right there. Yeah, because I've seen, that. I've seen guys that that did the little black spray and then it just shines because it's <laughs> all there. It just shines and it's just. That's the no ba the, what's that Beijing? What's it be benign? What's it called? What, um, the black spray. What is it called? I don't know, but if it rains, what? <laughs> what if it rains? I think, I think oh, just, no, just to hit up the air. Do it pumps off like if it rains. Huh? <laughs> it's look like it's mold with them little spots, and you know, like you know, mold spots. <laughs> <laughs> but what if it rains? What if they got caught in the rain? I, mean, I would like, hope, but I would hope that they would, you know, have something to cover that instead of just going out there all in the open. And then they have to put on a shower cap and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> a shower cap. <laughs> they, they, they pass me the shower, well, not in the <laughs> rain. Not in oh, the rain, but. That is weird too, right? Because men typically don't wear a shower cap in the shower. At least I've never seen that. And, and and so and, and I wanted to bring up a point too. It's not just black men doing it. It's the white man, the True. this, the Brad Pitts, yeah. and all of that. True. And True. is it? I think is it more acceptable for them than it is black men? Because you don't really hear nobody talking about white men. I mean, I don't they, know none of them doing it. I, I think Brad Pitt. And stuff like that. And I seen, you know, when the barbers, the barbers need to see. That was like the one I got on there. Oh, yeah, but, but Brad Pitt, he be acting. That's, that's like. But how okay, we know that ain't his? Is. Huh? That's typical for, you know. White people. White people to have. Yeah. Like mm. that. How yeah. we know that ain't see, that's See, I could work, I could, uh, work with that. I could work with Brad because we don't know, and no pun intended, we don't know what <laughs> so the so the white man gets precedent. Okay. 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 Now that's some BS. Know. That's some BS. I mean, all I'm saying is we don't know when, when it comes to white. That okay. is true. Yeah. That's true. That is true. Mm -hmm. Black people don't have black people that don't 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 grow that fast. Y'all sound weird racist. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> well, in his case, that's a different story. <laughs> See, but no. I think just you don't know. I mean, if you can wear it and own it, I don't think it'll be much as a problem. Cause I might be the one that cheer you on. Hey, you need to cover that up before we go out, babe. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. so I oh, might yeah, be like, hey, okay. you need to spray some of that stuff on before we get out, you know. But your you line too far back. I just realized that I, I guess there was a little bit of a prejudice there with me. And I don't have no problem admitting that. I just realized okay. that <laughs> at the end of the day, if I don't like it, I don't like it, right? There you go. Mm -hmm. white because now I'm thinking, okay, well, if I don't like it on a black man, but I like it on a white man, is it more so that I care about other people and what they think? As a, mm -hmm. But then I'm also thinking, well, how would they know? But it's like, well, I would know. I don't know. I guess it just goes back to this whole, like, um, I don't know what you want to call it, but just this whole, um, like, as black women or how white women, they say sometimes that uh, they try to, you know, imitate us to some degree. Mm -hmm. Or they could even say, as black women, we may try to imitate the white woman as far as, like, with the hair and things like that. And so I, I, I think that... Um, you know, now that I'm starting to process this, this is what I do for a living, you know, I start to process. I'll start one way, but then after I think about it after a while. Um, so maybe I'll just cross that out all together. I, I don't think that I would want my man wearing it at all. So I don't even care if it's black, white, whatever. I just think that. I just don't want it. Yeah. And I for you to be you, honestly. Mm -hmm. I, to some degree. Yeah. I get it. And I no, thank you. In your, huh? defense, in your defense, they uh show random dudes wearing wigs, but then you pop up with a Brad Pitt. You know that's every almost every woman wig is yeah. wig is Brad Pitt. Mm -hmm. It's exceptional, mm -hmm. exceptional. So yeah. that wasn't you know comparison there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I it's okay to be. Either, and it is a double standard. I mean, either way you look at it, it is a double standard. Yeah. It doesn't matter if we agree or not, because at the end of the day, uh, as black women, a lot of times, especially the ones that's extremely independent, you know, we talk about wanting to have this equal. Isn't that a, a part of it? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you feel like this is something that you want to do just like it's something that I want to do to make myself feel good shouldn't it be okay to do that yeah, I mean I, I still I... think that we all have preference mm -hmm. that's a preference of mine and I don't want a man to have a wig on mm -hmm. it's just it's a little it's it's, it's just mind boggling okay mm -hmm. so let me ask you this Juju so you know it's certain things that you may want done for you and if your husband was totally against that, but you truly, really wanted it, like it made you feel good, and it was just, you know, it's something that you really wanted, would you not do it because of how he feels? Um, I think, I mean, I do a lot of compromising, you know, with my husband. So I'm talking about this, though. I know, I'm just saying, like... <laughs> It just depends on how much you know I'm affected by it. Some if it's really bothering me, we we we're gonna have to compromise something, you know. If he I mean? told you, if he told you he don't want you wearing weave, yeah, he wants you to go natural. That's, that's not that's not his preference. Yeah, that's not his preference. So you're gonna no, you can't wear it anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, honestly, if I knew how to do my own hair and I didn't and I had actually wasn't, let's let's say, like lazy, didn't want feel like doing my hair, I will probably be natural. But mm -hmm. I just, I don't have time to do it. He like me to look, you know, presentable at all times. So he going to have to accept that, you know. Well, but, what if he feel the same way with the hair, you know, that he want to add to his Was he going to do my hair? I mean, no, but what if, what if, you know, I mean, yeah, could he go to the, to the, could he cut his hair completely bald? Yeah, I think it's easier to do than to get yourself a fade, right? Mm -hmm. However, what if, what if he's not even comfortable with going completely bald? He ain't, he ain't there yet. Um, I still don't want him to put no wig on. I don't want him to put no wig on. If he want to go bald. So is he um, about you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Good answer. Good answer. Oh, I mean, I mean, 
you you should. I'm just saying, you know, okay. but and 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 let's it's a, I guess it's two things that we can that we we're talking about is like being catfish, you know, at the beginning, and then mm -hmm. okay, my husband goes bald years from now. And you know what I'm saying? So it's just like I prefer you not to go bald at all. Um Noah. <laughs> <laughs> see i like that right there that look natural that you know they can't help that, that. Okay. what was that what was that what that, was that? that, that, that like yeah no, oh, okay it's now how did that hair look here that pubic hair i mean what is it what's that <laughs> Okay, I can see where it's kind of not blended. You know, it lost the just... at some point. I mean, it is a little off, but, but you, you get the point, it. right? But where Where's that hair coming from? A unit. All it is is a hair unit. They that try to make no it look point. as yes. They make it look it's as natural down. as possible. Yeah. Wow. I feel the same way. We need that. Uh, oh no. No man. I know somebody wearing that same style, but I don't want to mention no name. They know we what I'm talking about. <laughs> and it's, I don't think it's about being catfish. I think it's self confidence. You know, sometimes we need that confidence too. We go get our lashes, our nails, our hair done. Um, at the end of the night, you know, we go home. We don't sleep in all our makeup. Uh, we don't sleep with the lashes and the lipstick on. Is that the same way they should feel that we catfishing them? Um, it's not the same scenario with that. Now, if they sit there and do all this fake stuff and knowing they don't look like that underneath, then that's a different story being catfish. But a lot of them just want to have that. They don't want to be walking around with all of these spots and, you know, bringing an unnecessary attention to them. They want to look presentable just the way that <laughs> you and I do. Yeah. And they, they wear want, hats all the time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And believe me, when these brothers take off these hats, they look totally different. The hats worse than the toupee. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, that's a whole yeah. another yeah. topic. You know, it's like you know, we typically do it to enhance our beauty. Um, ain't that what they doing it for? No. Right. What's they are? Yeah. What they doing it for? Yeah, they are. Because no. they don't want nobody to point at their head. We I don't want nobody to point at ours. Yeah. No, I'm you just saying. I ain't going natural. It ain't happening. I ain't growing natural. Um, <laughs> and anytime I go out, if I'm going out somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Like from um like going to an event or whatever, I'm gonna have on some makeup. I'm not going all natural. I mean, I feel like I'm beautiful anyway, with or without it. But that's enhancing your beauty. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. well, still at what I'm saying is is that. It's the same thing with them, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot, you know what? That's the problem with society today, is that, and I'm even speaking from myself, you know, even though it's still not a preference of mine, but it's just that we care about too much what people think, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times when we do that, we don't align with our true selves. And so, if this man or this woman want to go out here and, and you know get it dolled up, let them do that. Now, I do feel like there are limits. Like, I don't, me personally, I don't believe in like, you know, I mean, uh, I don't really believe in like Botox and like, you know, like um, I, I prefer to age gracefully. I do. Now, I would like a bit of a butt. I would like that. But even my man was like, he 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 okay with the way my behind look. He said, if you want a bigger butt, work that out. He don't want me to get nothing that ain't natural. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've had a. But you see, but that's what I'm saying. That's like that's what he prefer. Why is it okay for me to prefer, but we can't? And no, I, I draw mean, the line somewhere. You can't have that. No, but you know you got to draw the line somewhere, and I draw the line for that. I mean, if my husband, if he wanted to be you know bald that's fine you know if he, when he want to grow his hair out he's growing his hair out now that's fine you know but the minute that you start putting weave in your head like i could put weave in mine i'm just no it's no unisex over here we're not going there <laughs> you, say, you, know, you can't put that you can't you can't do that i'm not gonna now I mean, but, but you know what there is like it's it's some man even though i don't care too much for dreads 
Um, and some people love dreads on men, mm -hmm. but if they had like dreads and they put, you know, made, got a little extensions, I'm okay with that. But mm -hmm. what I'm not okay with, because that's going to stay in their head anyway. I wasn't okay with, uh, I think I seen it where on Facebook where somebody, um, was bald and then they gave them some cornrows <laughs> and I'm like, no, uh, nope, that's glue. It's too much of a, a difference. I agree with you with that. It's being extra over the top. I'm just mm -hmm. stating the fact if you're going to get something, make it work only as if it's yours. And I think that's yeah. the way we do when we go and get our hair and stuff done. We own it. We wear it. We don't, you don't know mm -hmm. if it's fake or unless we tell you. And that's the way mm -hmm. I'm saying my preference. If a man have to do that, don't look as, hey, you know, good wear that ain't your hair. Or you walking around here when, you know, this big old toupee and you can tell that it's like that. But if right. it's something to enhance it just to, you know, for to build your character up and you own it and you, you know, you represent it and you look decent with it, I can deal with that. You would you be willing to do a trial period? Would you be willing to do a trial period? A trial period? Yeah. Would, would, uh, what? I'm just saying, like, if you could, you know, like, I mean, I know your husband has all his hair. But let's just say if he was going bald and he wanted to get that all like covered up, would you be willing to do a trial period? Like to just to see how you feel because you feel that way, not really been in that situation. And sometimes if we're not really in a situation, we don't really know if if that's how we truly feel or not. I never thought I would date outside my race and I didn't do it one time. I didn't do it two times. I did it three. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. I never uh -huh. thought that I would date outside my race. I mean, I, I will give him the benefit of the doubt, and but at the end of the day, I'm still looking, and and I'm the type of person that's gonna stare. So I mean, he'll be so uncomfortable because I'll be like, "This." <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I say natural, natural, more yeah. natural. Don't go over the top. I'm okay yeah. with that. Um, that's I, I, I told you I could do the black stuff. I could do the black stuff. Yeah. All on the beard and stuff. I could do all that. Well, when you, uh, Tammy K, when you uh, mentioned the beard earlier, um, are you saying like, being able to like put in, you know, um, spray in spots, or are you talking about like doing a whole beard? Sorry about that, guys. The beard question took me out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> when you were referring to the beard, um, and you were just saying, like, do you feel the same way about that? Mm -hmm. um, do you? Do you feel like? No, I, I wouldn't want. No, now you no, dog. You're not gonna be bald like bald on the face and then turn around. You Santa Claus? No, thank you, sir. <laughs> no, I, I. That's why I say it's simple, natural. Okay, the beard. I'm cool because I. I ain't gonna, I, the beard, you know, the beard do something to you. Now, you know, you gotta get it. You, know. you I, I feel like it does make them to me. I love a man with a beard. Yeah. So I'm gonna wanna play with it and do all that. And if I be rubbing on it and it slide off, I'd be through. I'd be through. So no, I think, yeah. I think that's why I differ. I differ. I don't, I don't the facial hair, no, nah, I'm cool, but. Yeah, yeah, I can see that, you know, and then, you know, when you're doing other activities and, mm -hmm. you know, like how they supposed to like wash that off? If, you know what, I'm saying? <laughs> like, what happens there? The same way that they going to wash <laughs> that weave. No, 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 no. Well, I don't know if you could do that with the, the man, the man weave. I don't know if you can wash it like you could ours. I, I, I think, I think you can. That's why they so expensive. I think it's like $600 or something yeah. like that. Very, it's very expensive. So I think it's some out there where you can treat it as your own. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not sure, but I think it's, 
some I've seen the units you can wash them, but like the beard, yeah, like how would that work? Like, yeah, yeah. and then don't let them put that spray up in there, you know. You oh, no. Mm -mm. One minute you bald, the next minute you covered up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> black all over your face. You like, hey, yeah. <laughs> now you got a beard. Just, Wait a minute. You like I just, I just uh, trained you down not too long ago. Where that come from? I just get out. <laughs> but how do they? What real quick about the glue? Because it looked like it was like Elmer's. Glue. No, she didn't. Did she say Elmer? So what what type of glue are they using daily? Oh. And what if your man asked you to help him put that wig back on? <laughs> I don't think they can take it off and put it on. Uh, I would help I would help that man put his wig on, boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just grab him though. You can't grab him. Who grab, baby? Let me help you with that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another one, right? It's like, yeah. That's it. What if you sitting up there, you rubbing all through it, y'all being intimate, and then you like, whoop, there you go. No, no it's just going to be that easy it's to come on. Your, your hand like this. Y'all think so? No, I, I think, think it's it, like with our weave and it. stuff like that. Ain't nobody rubbing on our weave our unless our cook. Come on now. Yeah, but I think it's like that cannot it. be sold in. You can't sew in nothing bald. On nothing bald. You can't. Yes, you, uh, can. you can. The weave can't be sold it's women, no, 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 women with alopecia and all that, they put the 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 net on their head and then they sew it on there. Come on now. We just seen some bald headed yeah, ladies yeah, and then all the way bald to mirror because you gotta have something that helps no, her thread in. No, so like the no, they put they, the cross. they put the I think they put the glue like they do and put some paper or something and then a net, like the, the net for the sewing net. And then they sew that. it on. I need to see this process. I really do. I want to see a ball, a completely bald man. Yeah, because I've never. I got to see like that. that. If, they, but, if they able to put a net on there. But think about the women that suffer from alopecia. Think about it. But they, they be bald. It be bald. it it be bald all right here. So where they get the from? They use something like black tape. Uh, the yeah. Last time I said of it, the guys have like this black tape. Oh, it looked like um. Something like duct tape, but it's black. <laughs> uh -huh. and that's, that's so that's really held in there. I, yeah. I Not the dread, not the dread. Like that was oh, yeah. Elmer's glue oh. and the double sided tape. No. Look, they bought, look, they bought already, so it ain't gonna hurt the head no more. You putting the glue on there, so that'd be all right. That'd be all right. But you know what? I think I think we need to get a man's point of view. So uh, well, I'm gonna bring on a guest um to get his point of view. Rashad Business, you in the building? What's yeah, up? Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. What's <laughs> up, Tammy K? What's up, Tay? What's up, Jess? Ask. Hey. What's up, hey. Hey. So you heard us talking smack, giving our pros and cons of the we win men. Oh. Now, nice. now that's that's you right there. That's all you on your head, right? That's you. No, no, this is just all. Okay, this, this all okay, we just make a show. Okay, now, 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 look, hey, look, now, show. Look. you know my okay. landing got my landing got a little bit of the spray in there, but you just putting it like right there. You just want to put a mm -hmm. little bit like right there to tighten it up, you know? Because sometimes some of the guys like they 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 line and they hair in the front is not that great to get lined up. And so the barbers just use it. They just use a little bit of the black fibers. That's what that black spray is called. Now it's called mm -hmm. hair fibers. So they just okay. so they just spray a little bit on there and give it, and then it makes the lining look real tight. But all the the, the man weaves, it's me as a man, I, I probably wouldn't do it. I would probably go bald, you know, um, 
the it's the the dreads like the dread thing. Uh, if you was bald yesterday, you get some dreads. Come on now, like you know, <laughs> that's just out of the question. That's like come on, right. man. Yeah. But you know, I just want to say one thing. What you said, Juju, cracked me up early. You said going bald is a disability. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just ask. I got you too. Ain't nobody <laughs> safe. No, you no, no, no. He ain't safe. Well, you said you ain't dating no man with no peanut head or no weave. So I'm like, what you gonna do then? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, but that's a lose lose. That's a lose lose. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a little-lose. laughs> yeah, literally. But, you know, I, I, I agree with you, Tammy K. With the when you said you know being bald and then got dressed the next day down your back, that's just out of the question. Yeah. And you know, for some men, they they do this for confidence in themselves. You know, some people just are. The world is really a place full of low self-esteem. You know what I'm saying? People have low mm-hmm. self-esteem and they're trying to find different ways on the outside to make themselves feel good because they don't really feel all that great on the inside. So, you know what I'm saying? They going out to try to make themselves feel good externally, but don't understand once that stuff is gone, you're going to have to look back in the mirror and be like, oh, man, I look ugly again. So it's mm-hmm. some building up on the inside that people need to do with themselves. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. And when, because once you feel good on the inside, hey, no, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah, yeah. But as a man, I will not put on a lead press on beard. I'm just not for the <laughs> <laughs> Like, come on, no, I'm going to just snatch on and snatch off. Like, come on, man. Like, I, I definitely beard off it. You can take your beard off it. <laughs> you know, confidence is very sexy. It really it really is a, a big thing, you know, to be confident. And, you know, I'm starting to learn that, you know, I'm just confident in myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm confident. And see, I'm blessed that I'm a barber and I can keep myself together. You know what I'm saying? Whereas that these guys, they don't when they get they they get to that point, they ain't got nothing else to do. And it is very lucrative. When you say it's about 600, I know the cheap the cheap hair units that they put in. Probably start about one seventy five to two hundred. Oh, you know I don't what know what that looked like. Lord. Yeah, that, that, the, the, the one seventy five <laughs> to two hundred <laughs> was like the little, the little weave, like the little, the little weave, and they got just the little waves, the low haircut. That's about one seventy five to two hundred. And they do start, you know? Do you mm-hmm. know how long they last? <sighs> nah, about two weeks, probably. Till they glue out. Well. Maybe to that glue well. I mean, it's whenever that glue right, well. Right, that's see, Elmer glue. Yeah, so, you yeah. land, you land the hair right what? on the glue. Judy, ain't nobody put no Elmer's glue on their head. Because because see what the barber first do, what he do, he's gonna <laughs> give them a George Jefferson bowl. It's gonna look like a horseshoe. He cut all uh-huh. this out and give them a George Jefferson, and then put all the glue on there, and then whatever uh-huh. type of hair they want to use, there it go. <laughs> Straight up George Jefferson. That's how they. That's how they do it. You know, uh-huh. they're going to have a fade on the sides. They fade them up on the sides, but they leave that and they cut a George Jefferson bowl in their head. And when they cut in a George Jefferson bowl, that's when they put the glue on there and they start extract. They put, they start putting the weave on there and they cut, comb it down, get it to looking natural. And then they cut it down and line it up. And that's just for like the ways, but the dreads, I, I'm like, man, that's just too much, man. That's, that's like, just, is, ask, is it that serious? Let me ask you this, Rashad Business. Mm-hmm. Do you think it's a double standard, you know, that um, some of us, some of us feel that way about men wearing weave, and, and we feel like it's okay for us to do it? And no, it, I, it, it's definitely a double standard. But see, it's double. It's a lot of double standards in life. That's like women that sleep around are considered hoes, but men that sleep around is like you a player, dog. You, exactly. you getting all that. You getting all that. So exactly. it's a double standard in a lot of things. You know, because and, and it, it it's a double standard because it's like you know with, with, with y'all women, y'all like magicians. You know what I'm saying? Y'all put on <laughs> y'all put on eyelashes. You put on his makeup. You get your hair did. Y'all put on fake eyes and contacts, and then you got this hair. You got the fake hair in your head. Then you turn around and got the fake booty and the fake boobs and everything. And then like it's like I seen this one girl. I was like. Women who know how to do makeup and all that, the beauty industry is. I'm, I see why it's a billion dollar business because mm-hmm. they are like magicians. Yeah, yeah I see this one girl. She yeah. had a picture of before and after. The picture yeah, she looked, the before picture she looked at like Lamar Odom, 
that after picture she looked like a Shanti. I was like, yeah, who is a makeup artist? She a beast. She yeah. deserve every yeah. dime she got paid for that. Yeah. And I'm like, whoever met her that night and woke up to her the next morning probably got up and stole off her. Like, who is she? That's the catfish yeah. Juju was talking about. Yeah. And see, that's the thing, that's like with, with the women, would you rather be a uh, uh, catfish with the hair or a hatfish with the hat? I call it hatfish. Because <laughs> uh, a lot of or men have maybe, to deal with that. Huh? Is it because is it because now in today's society, because each generation we be, they they build something extra. They yeah. they come up with change, something new. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is it because we so used to women doing this too? We just know that, hey, women does this. This has been known for decades that yeah, women I, has been going through this change. Now it's a new thing that's coming out and we won't accept the change. This is something new that's been found that, hey, now that women had this for years, let's enhance the men. And now we're looking at this as feminism or that, you know, something that is not supposed to have instead of accepting the change. That, and I think that's what it is, is that women is, you know, it's that what you, it, beauty enhancement has always been just for the women. And, you know, we men, we just just men. That's how, you know, it is what it is, you know. And now this is definitely a new thing with the male enhancement of beauty. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I know most women take it are taken back like, what? What is this? He kind of gay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. like that. You know, but some but and, and, you know. Men just, I guess, I guess they trying to keep up and compete or whatever, or, you know, it's self-esteem. The man, the man need love too, you know yeah, what I'm I, saying? Yeah, 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 you know, so, you know some, some men, they do need the love, so, they, you know, they do need that, you know what I'm saying? A lot of guys that are young, they do have, like, issues with them losing their hair, like, super early, mm -hmm. and ain't nothing they could do about it. You know, that school. disability, that's that disability. Yeah, that's, 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 that's so <laughs> It is. No, it no, is. So scared to get a check. Be like, hey, I'm losing my hair. Y'all think I'll give me some mid month? You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> that, but yeah, it's it's uh, it, it you know, it, it's a thing where now guys have like they don't have to sit back and like feel like they self esteem just got to stay low. They can fix it and be happy for a moment at least. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But until they learn to get that inner confidence and that inner self uh self worth. You know what I'm saying? It's just gonna be like just a a, a a a temporary high on feeling good, but then you're gonna be still back to that same way. So that's how the that's how the business makes money. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they make course. money off your self esteem, and they they giving you this temporary uh, confidence boost. They like, yeah, look at him. He like it. He gonna be back. You know what I'm saying? And if you can afford it, you gonna keep going back. Cause in the beginning, like when they first start doing it, it's like, ah, oh, ha, 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 he got a wee, wee, wee. Not every, every man getting like, okay, okay, yeah. I see the little enhancement. Oh, okay, I can yeah. do this. Yeah, I can I do mean, that. Yeah. And you want to know who started it first? Steve Harvey. Because everybody was like, man, I want that Steve. No one is. No, hey, look, no, I don't know. no. As far as I know, for a long time. That's no, my no. Oh, it was his. He had that all the way Steve up Harvey here. Had the kid in play. Steve Harvey had that man. Steve Harvey had that. He he was the one started that black spray stuff with the lining. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. lining like that being tight yeah. as it was. That was yeah. the first enhancement that I knew about. You know what I'm saying? Did y'all see yeah. LeBron James before and after? Oh man, LeBron yeah. James. Yeah, nah, I think he got uh, hair follicles. Yeah, it's, it's not, it's not it's, working no more for him. He just got a lot. You know, sometimes sometimes you have yeah. to let it go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Either either you gonna go ahead and do it or you gonna let it go. You know what I'm saying? Either either you gonna go ahead and do it or you gonna let it go. You know what I'm saying? Either you gonna go ahead and do the whole little you did or just let it go, man. You just hanging let on. Go, you got a billion dollars. He just hanging on because he got a and, billion and dollars. Judy, and Judy, he got a daughter and his daughter had down her back. So no, it I might be hard. Now, I was talking about the man. LeBron, that's LeBron's daughter. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about Steve Harvey. My bad. <laughs> oh, no. No, I was saying, I was saying that uh, about the men. You know, not the daughters. The, I was talking about the Oh, men. you're saying the son will be bald? Yeah. Yeah, but oh. he got a million dollars, so I may just take a... You know, like, you know. well, see, if, that. Now, yeah. see, if he got the money, if he got the money to consistently, if he going bald and he want to do a male unit, but he keeping it low and natural, and he had the money to consistently do it, how would you feel about that? Would you, would you, would you accept that? Because he can consistently do it. Like these guys that are doing it, they getting it done, and then they, yeah, you would yeah, catch him again, and be like, "Hey, I thought you had a what happened to your hair." 
Like, oh, that's, man. That's, that's million dollar status. You can't, that's not, you know, dollar status. That's million dollar status. I right. may just be like, you know what? <laughs> Go Judy, on, man, with you know, Judy iron in the wing. Let me iron home. your wing for you, babe. Don't See, worry yeah. about it. Go put stay flow on the wing. You, you looking good? We, we saying what's right, but y'all know good and well this ain't finna happen because you know women are some self esteem snatchers. We will snatch your self esteem, uh, your confidence. Uh, as soon you made uh, us mad. Shut your bald head ass up. <laughs> we gonna call you out. You gonna be looking good as hell. Table, Dang I may you. have to hold my mouth for a million dollars. Right. I may have to hold my, my yo, for uh, a million dollars. Okay. Women are uh, self esteem snatchers. Y'all are. Uh, I no, ain't messing up. Baby, we won't do it. Go right on. Me too. Let's not go there. Me and Kim. Uh huh. Well, they, well, they, y'all, we, y'all, well, we, we, we can be, but I don't know they're for some reason. I, I think we can be, but I think for some reason, when y'all say stuff, it, 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 we it, going it, for it, your it hurts it harder. We it definitely going for your soul. It's even a double standard. It's like even a double standard in a bad relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like when your, a, your when mama man, was bald, you bald now, right. but now your kid yeah. bald. Right. And, and like everything y'all do when it comes to women and men, everything y'all do it hurts. It hurts men a little harder. But you, you would be surprised how hard it hurt a man when when a woman say some of the things that she do. You know what I'm saying? It's like a bad relationship. Now a man. You know, if he messing around and he cheat on a woman, I know it hurt y'all. But when the woman cheat back on that man, ooh, that man be crushed. <laughs> it, 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 it hit different. It hit different. And the reason it hit different, because most of the time when men, a man that cheat on a woman, he just be trying to look for a thrill and he don't even care about that girl. But yeah, when a woman well, cheat on a man, it's the man. possible next yeah, mister. This is now like, like the, you this a is, bald head cheater. Right. Head. <laughs> See, when, when women cheat, when women cheat, they don't do that type of yeah, stuff. Now you don't have to buy his unit. Yeah, that was on his head was real. Right. Like, hey, yeah, yeah, dude, hell was real. Yours ain't now. Right. Man, man, your your heart be hurt. Leave your yeah. hat and leave your hats that I bought. Let her go buy that for you. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all see, see how we, uh, 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 Rashad business, he started talking about cheating and all that other stuff. Then yeah, we brought it right back to the ball. No, right, no, 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 Right, right. Oh, 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 we back to the topic. It just we'll have you back for that. We'll have you back for that because we're gonna talk yeah. about that too. Oh, yeah. hey, hey, look, everything is like a double standard, though, you know. But I mean, yes. as far as like the the men, the 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 balding and stuff like that, you know, it's just it just comes with the territory with men. Some men can't accept it, they want to stay younger. You know, when they should just accept and be grateful that you are getting older. Sometimes that hair loss means you gaining wisdom. You should be gaining wisdom as you lose some of the hair. You know what I'm saying? So you should be you should be a little wiser, you know, and sometimes just hereditary that you, you lose it younger. But you know, I, I, I couldn't do all that other stuff. If I had to, it would just be maybe the little that little that the little wave. It had to look supernatural if I was to do that, but you know, yeah. Like now, the now extra what's the stuff? difference between double standards and preference? Preference is what you want. And double standard is just what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's just what it is. It's just it's just the way the world kind of accepts things, but your preference is just what you want and what you like. And I don't think it's nothing wrong with a preference. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing wrong with a preference, but you know, it still comes with a double standard, though. You know what I'm saying? But the preference still is okay to have mm -hmm. okay okay well uh, i think that was uh pretty awesome i love everybody's uh opinions and stuff that was pretty funny the pictures and stuff like that rashad business thank you so much for getting on the line um taking the time to speak with us i really appreciate that um i want to um, let everybody know they can follow us on tiktok at Girlfriend Talk Podcast. You can also uh, follow us on YouTube at uh, Girl. Is it Girlfriend Talk mm -hmm. on YouTube um, as well? Um, more avenues of 
where you'll be able to follow us. Uh, we'll got we'll let you guys know about that as well. Um, again, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to uh, you guys come back next week. Uh, we'll have. Um, probably something crazy to talk about as well um thank you ladies for chiming in i appreciate you guys it was awesome uh we're gonna go ahead and close it out with just as take it away girl um so as you know we all have our differences uh when it comes to our preferences our perspectives and that's okay um i think that that is very helpful to and you know, I think it can kind of help with like um, black or white thinking to some degree. Um, mm -hmm. But I think it, it can also be, um, even though very opinionated, but I think it's uh, very helpful as far as the way that uh, we may view certain things um, in life, whether it's a uh, baldness or or men wearing weave. And I think that is it's important to just share that because again, everyone has their own uh, preferences. Uh, some of us can be biased. Um, some of us can also um, be a little selfish at times, you know, because we want what we want and and it doesn't matter if uh, how that other person may feel about it. Um, I'm not going to uh, point who that person out because again we all have our uh, differences of opinions but um tune in for next time i don't know what the next topic is going to be but i'm pretty sure it's going to be something um very uh interesting <laughs> okay.